YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Today, I'm going to title this one, Fractional Shares is Just Not Worth It, with a question mark. Now, this is a topic that I've heard many different analysts, many different uh, YouTubers speak about, not necessarily creating a video specific to this topic, but you know, you'll just hear people's interpretation or, you know, thoughts on dollar cost averaging. So I thought, why not give you mine? So here's what I think about dollar cost averaging. I think dollar cost averaging gives, you know, many investors an advantage, right? I've heard someone say that there's no point in dollar cost averaging just save and then just buy a share outright, okay? So many people may agree with that. But the reason why I think fractional share investing is important is because it leaves you with no excuses, right? So if you have a dollar you can put in, you can invest. If you have $5 you can put in, you can invest. And so what tends to happen is a lot of people will say, well, if I'm looking at Apple, is $200. I can't afford, uh, you know, $200 right now. So um, I I'm just not going to buy it. So what happens is five years go by, 10 years goes by, 15 years goes by, and you still haven't got your foot in the door to actually an investing. Now, that's why it's important. If you can afford to put a dollar in, you're, you're in there, right? Psychologically, it says, I'm a part part uh, owner in a company. Psychologically, I'm investing. And so now I want to try to do better. So now maybe someone will start to cut some grass or wash cars or get some sort of side hustle that will enable them to have a better future financially because having a savings account is not going to cut it when you think about inf inflation the only thing that's going to prepare you to higher heights is investing. So even on our $15 per day challenge on this platform, this is our YouTube portfolio. We started four weeks ago. You can see the benefits of the capital starting a compound on just $300, right? We put $300 in, we're already up almost two and a half percent. Now, yes, there's going to be some times where the market comes down and we're going to see that portfolio be red. But overall, we got started with what, what we can do. We also have another part uh, where we do $5 a day towards VTI, okay? So we got two different YouTube uh, portfolios where one we're doing $15 a day, one we're doing $5 a day, and we're up over 2% on both of them, okay? So overall, I would say this, if all you could do is $1 a day, I would do that. There are some stocks in this YouTube uh, portfolio that we do $15 per day where I'm allocating just a dollar per day on the stock. Now, yes, some of them are, you know, four or five and even, you know, six, $700 stocks. But what happens is, when the market is up, we're still buying. When the market comes down, we're still buying, okay? And this is dollar cost averaging. So over time, even as the market goes down, we're getting those those stocks at a discount. And eventually when they go up, all that weight is going to compound and ride with the market going to the upside, okay? So overall, fractional share investing is worth it because I don't want there to be an excuse for anybody to say, well, I don't have $20, so I'm not investing. I'm, I don't have $50, so I'm not investing. Anybody can scrape up pennies laying in the street and, and you can you can allocate that in, in a Robinhood account, in a Fidelity account. There is a couple different platforms that will enable you to, to invest a dollar a day, $2 a day, $3 a day. Most of them are probably a minimum of $5 per day. But if you look into Robinhood or Fidelity, you can invest just a dollar a day and you can set it up to where, um, for example, if you put $100 in into a, a, a brokerage, you can set it up to where 
it automatically puts a dollar a day in a stock that you would like, right? Now, if I were a beginner and I didn't have the knowledge that I have or be, be able to maneuver through uh, stocks the way I do now, I would get into, you know, a, a VTI, which is the Vanguard total stock market, or I would start with VOO, uh, which is a Vanguard ETF that tracks the, the S&P 500 or a SPLG. Uh, a lot of people have gone to SPLG because it, it's a better return on the, on the investment, at least for this year, when you look at the low expense ratios, which is essentially uh, designed to pay the portfolio managers. But overall, I would look into that. Um, also, you can't go really wrong in my perspective if you invest in Microsoft or Apple, just a dollar a day. I think those two stocks are going to be around forever. I don't think they're going anywhere. And so those are blue chip stocks, right? That's an example of blue chip stocks, okay? So anyway, guys, I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know that even if you don't have X amount of dollars, don't let that be the reason why you don't invest. The most important thing is that you get started. And then once you get started, you'll figure the rest out, okay? Just get started. That's my, is all I want to say. Don't get into this, oh, well, I'm going to just save it up and then buy. The reason why, and there's nothing wrong with that. The reason why I don't, I, I and I can't give financial advice, but the reason why I don't tell people to do that is because psychologically, right, if you buy Apple right now, it's 230 something dollars. And if you're a beginner, you bought Apple today, tomorrow you look and it, it goes down to $200. Psychologically, that could do something to you, right? That can make you say, you know what? I put $200 in, I'm down $30, I'm done. So if you do a dollar a day, $2 a day, you're going at a slow and steady pace. And throughout the ebbs and flows, even if it goes down, you're not, you haven't allocated so much capital to it that it, it really makes a difference for you, especially in the beginning, right? So this is why I think it's good to start with little bits and just continue to add a little bit at a time. That way you won't be discouraged, okay? I know I've spoken a lot. It's something I'm passionate about. If you like this information, share the video. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, guys, I'm out, guys. Peace.